A formula node can be used to write formulas in a more traditional coding style. So it's under structures and formula node. So what I mean by that is that we can right click and we can add an input and let's just call this Y and then we can right click on the right side and add an output and we'll just call this X. So these outputs we can go to create a control and we can also go to create a indicator. So let's just say we want to just take Y and add 5 to it and that'll be our output. So we'll write this more like a traditional formula. So we'll just do x equals y plus 5. And then remember to add a semicolon. It's really similar to how c is written. Um, there's a few small little things that's different, but it's, it's pretty much uh, written in c. So if we come to our front panel here, and we just add in the number 3, and we run it, our value is 8. This is a super simple example of just, you know, x equals our y plus 5. Our input was 3 into y. 3 plus 5 is 8. And that is our output. Here's another example I found online. It pretty much functions the exact same way. So we have an input variable with a y. Notice we have a z1 and we have a z2. So I'll just change these to z1. I'll do the same thing, I'll add an output, z2. If you don't have the, the variables listed correctly, it will throw an error, and it'll just tell you that your labels are not labeled correctly, or your variables are not labeled correctly. Here's another example I have. So pretty much what this is saying is, if x times y is greater than 0, it'll run this piece of code or else it will, um, z1 will become a 0. And then z2 equals the sign of z1. And then we get our two outputs. So if we were to run this and just put in, uh, I don't know, we'll say 2 and 6. And hit run, we get our two numbers. And if any of them is a 0, it'll all be zeroed out because z1 turns to 0 and the sign of 0 is a 0. So this is an example of a little more complicated function. And so this is where the function node uh, really shines. Especially if you have like a really big MATLAB function, it helps a lot more to use this function node rather than LabVIEW code. And a good example of that is I actually just used the NI's tutorial on this particular function just for this example. So I just used the code right here to run this function but if I didn't use this code I'd actually have to build this structure right here so I'd have to use you know multiplication node is greater than zero a case structure square the value times three I'd have to add all this stuff in and this might not be too bad for something that's really small but sometimes you're dealing with really large matrices or really hard formulas that were calculated in another language like MATLAB and many times that function can just be copied and pasted right into the formula node and then you'll have your answer. So these can be really helpful with doing math calculations especially if they've already been pre-written for you just like this example was. That about sums up what a formula node is. So thank you and stay tuned for more.